Hello. How we doing, everybody? It's good to see you today. Um, I am a little nervous today because I have my call back tomorrow. My voice is a little raspy. I'm trying to trying to get it healed up a little bit. I have I have me some tea, my Cleveland Browns mug. They're a very sad franchise most of the time, but I do love some of the players. Um, and uh, so yeah, if I'm talking a little bit lower, maybe a little bit less in this stream, that's why. Hi Brody, by the way, I saw your uh, comment there. But now we're gonna get into a nice emerald stream. I'm very, very happy to get rolling here. Let me click over here, there we go. Um, so this is the Petalburg Woods. It very much kind of like evokes the, uh, oh yeah, just talking about switch training. Um, it very much evokes like the Viridian Forest in Generation 1. Ah, uh, yes, we have our our team here. We've got Ziggy the Zigzagoon, of course. We've got Cloud the Wingle and Piccolo the Trico. All right. So now there's this famous guy who's got like a million wormhole. And uh, I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Not overwhelmed, but just really nervous um, for, for this callback tomorrow. I, uh, I'm not out there too often in the acting world anymore. Um, so I'm really happy to have a callback, and I'm really, really excited and nervous because I want to do a good job. And I actually got called back for a different part in another show for their season. Um, so yeah, things are going pretty decently well there, but we'll see if I actually get cast. <laughs> um, but uh, how's everybody's weekend going so far? Um, like I said, mine's mine is... Oh, thank you, Brody. I appreciate that. Um, like I said, mine's pretty good. Uh, just uh, really kind of trying to think about the songs without performing them too much, because I don't want to blow my voice out. Because I'm learning that I can kind of get in the habit of, like, maybe over-practicing. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I want to practice enough to where I know I've got it, but I don't want to practice too much to where I tire myself out. And as you can see, I am a 30-year-old man playing this game, so I've been around for a while. And uh, my voice doesn't quite react to me like it used to. It used to rebound a little bit quicker than, than it does now. Okay, so for this last Wurmple, we'll go into Cloud. Wurmples can't really do much at this point. I do believe they get Poison Sting, which is a really tough thing to deal with in the early game, but I'm pretty sure these only know Tackle. <laughs> ah. But yeah, I was uh, really excited to get back into this game, because, um, goodness, I, I feel like I've spent a lot of time in Generation 1 and 2 lately, and I loved playing through them on the channel. But I have not revisited Gen 3 in a while, so this is really great. Um, so we talked about the Pokemon Shroomish last time. Actually, we're going to talk more about that. Shroomish is a very key Pokemon that you can catch here in Petalburg Woods. Um, there is another Pokemon here called Slackoff that is like a really big one. Um, and it's a very interesting Pokemon for reasons that we'll figure out later in the run. But first, we have this guy. Hmm, not one to be found. Hello, have you seen any Pokemon called Shroomish around here? He's looking for one. I really love that Pokemon. Good taste, bro. Ah, who are you? I was going to ambush you. I had to dawdle in Petalburg Woods forever, didn't you? I got sick of waiting, so here I am. Devon Researcher, what does that mean? Hand over those papers? Whoa. Oh, okay. So we have to save this grown man from this uh, attempted robbery, perhaps? <laughs> Team Aqua? Who's Team Aqua? I wonder what they're all about. Is that their logo or something? All right. 
So we've got a Team Aqua Grunt. Oh, <laughs> it sure does, Brody. It sure does. Just a nice little abbreviation. Nothing like abbreviating. All right, so this guy's just got a level nine Poochiena. Nothing that we shouldn't be able to handle. But if he's gonna try to sand attack us, I've got the perfect strat. Um, and it rhymes with bean by. Keen eye prevents accuracy loss. There we go. So let's go into our water gun. That was just a professional level strategy by me. <laughs> so yes, I've been drinking a lot of tea today. Um, and also, like I said, I was up in my hometown because my, my wife was doing something with my mom and I just hung out with my dad for a little bit, which was actually really nice. Um, <laughs> team Aqua, the team with like one person that has a water type, you're not wrong. Um, all right, nice to get Ziggy up to level seven. Okay, I thought we were gonna split that for a second. You're kidding me. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Grr, you've got some nerve meddling with Team Aqua. Come on and battle me again. <laughs> I wish I could say that, but I'm out of Pokemon. And hey, we of Team Aqua are also after something in Rustboro. Interesting. That was awfully close. Thanks to you, he didn't rob me of these important papers. Oh, thanks, bro. All right, put away the Great Ball. Uh-oh, it's a crisis. Oh, no. Okay. So that guy's off to do important, uh, important Devon researcher stuff. Um, okay. So here I'm going to walk through this grass. Maybe we can see one of these important Pokemon. Uh, the Pokemon that I talked about... Um, slack off um, is a pretty rare where is a pretty rare spawn here in Petalburg Woods but we'll see if we just happen to run into one on our walking path here ba, 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 ba. got our buddy Wurmple here um, yeah we aren't doing a Wurmple this game we'll actually get a, a nice look at what Wurmple eventually evolves into. Is there a hidden item here? Yes, there is. A Pokeball. There we go. Oopsie. Okay. Just another Poochiena. Alright, we'll go ahead and fight this fella. I believe he's just got some grass types. We'll let Cloud chill for a second. Um... Because we do have the Rock Gym coming up soon. So there will be plenty of opportunities for uh, Wingull and Trico, of course, to gain some levels against those Rock types. Oh, this is a new Pokemon, uh, Ninkata. It is based on a Cicada. And where I grow up, where I grew up and live now in Ohio, um, cicadas are a big deal. I don't remember exactly when they come out. Um, but they, like, shed their skin, basically. Um, and that's a big part of their... I don't want the bag. Why do I always do that? Was the Pokemon thing over there in Crystal or something? Um, <laughs> Roxanne, you're absolutely right. Um... Oh yes, Cloud's a little weak, but he's going to be able to take these leech lice a little better. There we go. Not very effective. And Ninkata, I didn't know this at first, it is actually a ground type, so this water gun will be nice and super effective. There we go. Love to see it. But Ninkata actually has a really interesting way um, of, evo of evolving. Because of the way it sheds its skin, a cicada will shed its skin in real life. There you go, got a supersonic on our cloud here. We'll just stay in. Because that resistance to leech life from the super effective water gun is very, very beneficial to us right now. Lovely. Lovely to get a one shot there. Perfecto. Bug Catcher James is left in the dust. Alrighty. Got an ether. Okay, great. 
So we did not see a slack off. Don't worry, we will encounter one in our travels. <laughs> yeah, Cloud learned supersonic before a flying type move. That is actually pretty interesting. Um, so that's all that there really is to uh, Petalburg Woods, at least going through the first time. Um, as you can see, there are little trees down here, and you guessed it. Looks like it can be cut down. We'll get into that in just a little bit. But first, we're going to talk to this fellow. I like filling my mouth with seeds and then spitting them out real fast. It's an interesting hobby. You can have this, so try it out. This is really nice. Um, this is kind of like the move like Fury Swipes or um, Fury Attack. Um, this is for the move Bullet Seed. And Bullet Seed is going to be a nice move for us to teach our Piccolo. There we go. Um, it is a little bit of a step up on Grass moves from what we have right now with Absorb. Because even though Absorb is very powerful to kind of help you get that uh, hit, those hit points back, it is not very strong in terms of how much damage that it that it uh, does. So this lady, this is the Pretty Petal Flower Show. Ah, oh, SCG, that's a nice name. Unconventional. So those berries grow in those little uh, spots of soil. So, let's see. This woman, oh, no, not this one. Maybe this one. Yes. She, oh, no. She gives me a Chesto Berry, which is a berry that helps you wake up. Maybe it's her. <laughs> or maybe you have to beat Roxanne. There we go. This is the Whalmer Pale. Uh, Whalmer is actually a new Pokemon in this uh, game. You'll never guess what it's based off of. So when you... What you can do with berries in this game is you can kind of have like an infinite amount of them because you can go right here, it says you want to plant a berry, and you can plant a berry, and now that we have that little whalemer pail, we can um, give it a little bit of water and help it grow, which is amazing. Let's see. <laughs> Brody, that's actually very interesting. Uh, there's a hidden item or two up in this grass where all those little spots are. <laughs> How does a Pokemon eat a berry when it's asleep? That's a great point. And one that people don't talk about enough. There we go. I knew there was a super potion up here. Any more? No. There we go. Alright, so now I'm going to show you guys a little trick. Hopefully this works. Because, well, let me save just in case it doesn't. Okay. So here's a little trick. You see how that guy's spinning around? He's spinning at like like a set rate. Like you know which way he's going. He's just going around in a circle, just like that. If you just walk across um, his path, even when he's turned around, he'll turn around real quick and battle you. But if you walk one tile where he is and then run away, he'll still turn around real fast, but he won't see you. Hopefully I don't mess this up. Here we go. I'm gonna wait till he turns around. See? There it is. He tried to catch me, but he couldn't. All right, so I'm gonna skip these two trainers for now. We can, we can come back and fight them, but I wanna make sure we can hit up the Pokemon Center before we go. Um, and again, just like, just those little waves and the water is great. You can literally see my reflection through the slats of the bridge here, which is cool. Okay. Oh yes, this game introduces double battles very great. Especially in Emerald, they put a really high emphasis on double battles, um, which is really fun. As you can see, they send two Pokemon out at once. <laughs> um, yes. So, we're going to go here. We're going to team up on the low tad because the C dot is probably going to go for some bide action. Oh, nice critical hit. Love to see it. And uh, that is kind of one thing, one advantage you can gain when you are doing a double battle is if you can knock out one Pokemon quickly, 
you can really team up on the other one and knock them out quickly as well. So it looks like this bad boy just wants to use Harden for now. And we're just going to keep tackling and pounding. We would use our new Bullet Seed TM. Oh, a wonderful critical hit, Ziggy. Ziggy, my boy, my girl. <laughs> Great. So that's a double battle. That's a very kind of soft introduction to them. Um, there are some really great double battles left in our run. That's a fisherman. I'm going to skip him for now as well. Uh, let's see. This one gives us a berry, right? The Chesto berry, once again. Love to see it. Aha! Lovely. This berry is very important. This is a Lepa berry. Um, it will actually heal your power points. So it's really nice that you have like an infinite amount in theory that you can get by planting them. Because in like the Pokemon games that we've played previously, see your reflection in the puddle? Got the nice little ripples in the puddle. It's awesome. Um, in Pokemon games previously, It's like beautiful elevator music here in Rustboro City. Um, but what I was saying, in other prior Pokemon games, you um, only get like a set amount of like ethers and elixirs in the game. Um, I'm actually gonna go through here to go in this little hole in the fence. To go back here. What is this? Oh, an X defend. Nothing crazy. But still nice to get the hidden item. That reminds me of how you get the TM for Dig in Generation 2. Um, <laughs> all right, so let's pop in here. I never use X items in battle, so I am just going to sell it, um, and we're going to see what else we can pick up here. Having a super potion is really nice. I would love to buy maybe a few more repels, yes. Repels are always quite useful. Lovely. I love, I, I really like sticking to our three-man squad for now. Let's go up here and heal. There we go. It's very interesting. Again, the music gets way higher when I use speed up. So here, you wouldn't really know this. But let's talk to this fella. Determined expression. The limber way you move and your well-trained Pokemon. You're obviously a skilled trainer. Wait, uh, don't say a word. I can tell just by looking at you. I'm sure you can put this hidden machine to good use. And this is that HM for cut. Now, we can't go down there to, uh, whatchamacallit, the Petalburg Woods to use it just yet. Um, because again, like he said, we need the badge from Rustboro City. Let's see. Ah, okay. And this is nice. So let's just teach Ziggy Cut for now. But Ziggy has her first item that she picked up. A Hyper Potion? That's got to be a rare, a rare one at this level. So Ziggy just picked up a Hyper Potion for us, which is amazing. Um, and hopefully she can just keep picking up stuff throughout a run. Got this beautiful little fountain here. Like, just the production value really really gets a nice lift. <clears throat> Ooh, weird burp, sorry. A nice lift here in Generation 3. Alright. So here, let's fight these trainers. I'm not gonna do Ziggy for this battle. We'll just do Cloud for now. Because here's our rock gym. I don't know if we're going to fight it right away. I don't think we're quite ready. We do have a good... We do have some good Pokemon for this. Um, but our levels are a little low. <laughs> yes, thank God Lickitung can learn Cut. Even though Blastoise can't. That's very interesting. That's very weird. Blastoise literally has, like, little claws. Yeah, there are a lot of, like... Things in Gen 1 where Pokemon weirdly can't learn moves. 
Um, okay. So now, so here's another double battle, and here is something that we can kind of take advantage of. Zigzagoon is not going to be very good against these uh, Rock-type trainers, but we'll pair her with Piccolo, and Piccolo will be able to one-shot. So she can still get some good experience from him, even though she cannot do a very good job defeating him. Here's Growl. Oh, and here's Bullet Seed. I'll show you what this looks like. It's a very, very satisfying noise, that um, yes, Charizard can't learn fly until yellow. That is really insane. It doesn't make any sense at all, actually. Um, yeah, and all these people just got tons of Geodudes. Which, I mean, hey, I got nothing against Geodude. But that's really all they have in this gym, I think. Because that, that one guy just has one Geodude, and I think these guys have two apiece. Um, let's just keep doing this. There's that beautiful sound again. Yeah, guys, again, sorry, sorry about my voice. I'm trying to just, just protect it, be a little less talkative. I'll be my normal self in no time. I will get rid of Pound for this here. Protect. Uh, Mudsport is an interesting new move. It lowers the power of Electric-type moves. Um, it is not um, useful for our home homeboy Geodude whatsoever right now. I don't know why he used it. <laughs> but, you know. He do what he do. All right. Just one more Geodude. We'll kind of speed through this a little bit. I was about to say, what does this sound like sped up? <laughs> Perfect. My computer just said something really weird for a second. That was very odd. Ooh, Headbutt. Great move for Zigzagoon. We will get rid of Tackle for sure. Still not super useful for the rock types in here. Um, but nice and powerful for this point in the game. Ah, here's a gym, gym leader music. I guess I shouldn't say gym leader music. That's just the gym music. Pardon me. So here, we're going to go here later, but this is the Devon Corporation. Very official looking building um, which is kind of like the landmark of Muspora City <laughs> mud sport the move all ground types get you're so right all of them get it and none of them know how to use it you know what I'm gonna do guys we are way below level and I know that there are some trainers out this way that we can fight here on Route 116. There it is. Bop, 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 bop. So we'll head over there later. But I'm going to see if we can beat Roxanne. We are, again, we are not at a high level right now. But I just want, I want to try there, yes, there's a nice item here that we can grab. Um, so as you can see, we have the water right there, we have some ledges right here, so we can't really progress on this route very much. We can grab that super potion. But we 
are gonna see. We're gonna test our luck against Roxanne. We very well might get smacked. Um, but I'm curious to see how this is gonna go. I'm gonna start with Cloud. Because that water gun, she has two Geodudes and one new Pokemon as her ace. I'll let that be a surprise. I feel like our Wingle should be able to one-shot, but let's see. Hello, I am Roxanne, the Rustboro Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a Gym Leader, so I, I might apply what I learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Um, she's very kind of like preppy type of design. Would you kindly demonstrate how you battle, and with which Pokemon? She's very, like, smart. Another great gym leader theme. Another generation, another great gym leader theme. It's amazing. Yeah, so she's kind of got, like, the class president type of vibe going on. Good for a first gym leader. Alright, so her Geodudes are at level 12. But again, Wingle's pretty fast. We still have speed. And that's a one-shot, baby. Because we know we got that four times weak on Geo. Perfect. Alright, I'm going to let Trico take this one. Because this might get... <laughs> Absolutely, dude. Um, yes, this will get him to level 12. So that should help us in the impending battle. And again, this bullet seed will knock it out, no, no problem. Oh, maybe not. Okay, good. If it only hit twice, it wouldn't. Well, how about that? Maybe I should have stayed in with Wingle. Okay, good. It is good to get him up to level 12, because um, he is going to be key against her final Pokemon, Nose Pass. Um, Nose Pass is a very weird Pokemon. It's kind of based on like a like an Easter Island head. Um, as you'll see, very Eastern Island, Eastern Island head, very big nose. Oh, this is a fun fact. In some Pokemon games, like in Pokemon Legends Arceus, Nose Pass will always point north because it's like a compass. At least I think that's true. They will always point some direction. I'm pretty sure it's north. Really cool. Well, fun fact. All right. So my strategy here is we are going to use some growls on this nose pass. I know Ziggy's not going to really be able to do much as far as damaging it, especially if it's going to use Harden to raise its defense. Ooh, it's a speed tie. Speed tie just means either Pokemon could outspeed on any given turn. We're gonna keep this strat going. If he wants to, if she wants to raise the nose pass's defense, oh boy, okay, that's fine. If she wants to raise the nose pass's defense, that is a okay because neither um, Wingle nor Trico are gonna be able are going to be using physical attack. I'm very curious why she hasn't used her signature move yet. The TM that she gives out. Yeah, we've lowered its attack a lot. Um, that might be all six. Let me see. I don't remember. Right, it's just going to keep hardening. This is very interesting. Maybe because it knows that Zigzagoon only has physical attacks, it's really just raising its defense. Because um, you see, Roxanne actually has um, a move called Rock Tomb which is very scary sounding. Got a nice flinch there. Um, and what Rock Tomb does is that it is, it's kind of like Rock Throw. It's a damaging rock move, but it always lowers your speed, um, which can combo out really well, especially for slow rock types. Excuse me. But again, as you can see, our headbutts are doing nothing. What she really wants to do with this nose pass is just use Tackle right now. Don't know why. So this battle's set to take a very long time. <laughs> um, because she actually used the move Block on my Zigzagoon. What that does is that I can't switch it out. So that's why I'm kind of just like hopelessly tossing up some headbutts. As a matter of fact, I'm going to turn off my sound and just speed up a little bit. 
because this will take forever. There's Rock Tomb. Okay, good. That's fine. We wanted the Zigzagoon to die. So now we've got our girl Cloud. And Water Gun can do some good damage, but it's not like... Okay, great to see that miss. Growl and Swap, absolutely. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Super Sonic here. And hopefully we can get some hits and confusion. That's very annoying. But the reason, that is the reason that we decided to um, lower its attack a lot was because... Um, that would have definitely killed our Windville had we not done that. Hopefully it hits itself here. Okay, that's some pretty bad luck, if I'm being honest. Okay. But I'm okay staying in with Trico. Ugh, that's annoying. Only two turns and the bad luck on it. And Nosepass is a pure rock type. So it's not going to be doing as uh, much damage as it will to Geodude. And as you can see, we just got the Orenberry. Um, the Orenberry, yes, she does have two potions, Brody. So um, our, we are not out of the woods with Nose Pass here yet. We're in a pretty good spot because it can't damage us too much. Um, but when we get it low on health, it's definitely going to try to use some potions like that. There's her second potion. Interesting. So she's just going to burn them both early. Okay, I feel like we got this in the bag now. Um, now that she has used her Orenberry, which we kind of saw that work for the first time um, in-game. But now that that has happened um, and she's used her two potions, it's really just a matter of time until our boy Piccolo can come in for the win. And honestly, guys, I feel super great about this first try Roxanne. We're pretty under level. Um, and if you don't have a really strong approach with the nose pass like we did, you're not going to be able to win. But um, like I said, we are seasoned professionals at this point. Well, this that'll finish it. Love to see it. Love to see it. Good work, gang. And we got Cloud to level 10. This will probably get Piccolo to 13. Love it. Love it. So, I lost. Great. Mm. Ah, heightens the attack. Oh, and now we can use cut. That's very cool. I cannot remember a time when I beat Roxanne before going to that second route. I don't know if I've ever done it that way. It's very interesting. So she gave us a TM for Rock too. We don't really have a great spot to use it right now. We might end up using it later, we'll see. Alrighty. Ooh. Ah, uh, yes, I remember this guy said he was gonna be up to no good. <laughs> don't take my goods. That guy just keeps getting himself into trouble. Poor little fella. All right. So let's do a quick little heal. Just enjoy that. Bling. Oh, it's you. You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in Petalburg Woods. Help me. Okay, so he was robbed. Robbed once again, because he is our helpless, helpless little fella. This guy is kind of like a random spinner. There are definitely some trainers um, out and about here 
that I do want to skip for now because I'm not, I kind of want to get to the meat of the story stuff. And if I'm being honest, these are probably some trainers that I am going to come back to when, there we go, when we have more members of the squad. Guys, I'm a trainer skipping master, it seems, at this point. More Talo. There we go. Let's see, Ziggy, do you have an item? Okay. I'm definitely going to have to fight some of these guys here. So I'll go ahead and bite the bullet, so to speak. Love this dance. This is a great little dance for the webcam, because you can really see everything and just see how happy I am. Perfect. All right. Ah, yes, I remember this shroomish. This shroomish can be problematic because I believe it knows the move Leech Seed extremely powerful, I think, specifically in this game. Ah, stun sport. That's it. Ah, but with quick attack, we can hit through that paralysis. Love to see it. Awesome. Okay, so we should knock it out now. Lovely. Amazing. Just one more for this little fella. Speed through a little bit, there we go. Yeah, and at this point in the game, since we're only using three Pokemon right now, our levels are kind of getting spread out nice and e or um, not nice and even actually. Our levels are a little bit higher than they normally would be. We'll rock you hard. I don't know about that. Maybe have a different choice of words there, fella. says for some reason. Okay, so there's a little item right here we'll grab. Is there one right there? Ah, this? There's a small indent in the wall. We'll learn more about that later. Perfect. So let's pop over here. What does this fella say? What am I gonna do? We were on our walk, Pico and I, when we were jumped by an odd thug. I don't even know what Pico is. <laughs> Roar, Pico! Pico is his Pokemon. Ooh, look at this. Look at that production value. It's all misty and mysterious. All right. So, use your pal. So he's there with Pico. Pico is that fella's Wingle. So I'm like, bro, I can relate. I love my Wingle too. Let's see, we'll start with Ziggy. We should be pretty good there. Even with the paralysis on Trico. <laughs> Come and get some then, as he backs up. <laughs> Keel haul it all. Very piratey term. Ooh, and you have like the special rock effect there when you're fighting in a cave in this game. I don't know if people have noticed that yet, but Again, production value, baby. Huge step up. Um, 
because the first two games we played were on the Game Boy Color, or Game Boy, and this was on the Game Boy Advance. And as you can see, it's advanced. Yeah, this will be quick work. Lovely. Easy peasy. My career in crime comes to a dead end. The boss told me this would be slick and easy. Yeah, well, you just got your stolen goods taken back by a child, so... And we were able to save our dear friend Mr. Briney's uh, Wingle. Ah, that cottage by the sea near Petalburg Woods. We actually saw that earlier. There was no one there. It must have been his house. Very cool. All right, so here, we can't go here because there's rocks. You can smash them, but we can't yet. Um, so, folks, um, I'm actually going to end a little early today. I'm just trying to be a little extra protective of the old vocal cords. Um, and I honestly thought I was going to feel a little bit better when I started, but I feel like um, I feel like getting a little bit tired. So I'm gonna I'm gonna call it for today. We we're still able to do some cool stuff. Fought, fight, uh, fought Roxanne. Uh, learned about Team Aqua for the first time. Very cool. Um, but thank you for watching today. If you're watching this after the fact, hopefully my voice is a little bit uh, a little bit recovered the next time you see me. But um, until then, really appreciate y'all being here. I will see you next time. Peace, kids.